Good afternoon, everyone. Today we celebrate the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's readings begin with 1141. That's 1141. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone here with us today, especially anyone visiting with us, as well as any new parishioners. We have a few announcements. So now is a good time to turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Today we celebrate the 17th Sunday at Ordinary Time, as well as the first World Day of Grandparents and the Elderly, established as an annual event by Pope Francis, the fourth Sunday of July. <clears throat> Today we pray for all grandparents that they may always be loved by their families and appreciated for their wisdom and sacrifices. Today, we honor the importance of grandparents and the elderly, especially the many grandparents and seniors who are isolated during the coronavirus pandemic. May this day help us to understand that all of us, young and old, grandparents, grandchildren, are united as one in the body of Christ. Our celebrant for this Mass is Monsignor Baddock, assisted by Deacon Seawold. Our entrance hymn is number 735, Blessed Are They, number 735, Please Stand. Good afternoon and welcome. Please pray with me now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you look with compassion upon your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the great prophet who has arisen in our midst. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed your people with the finest wheat. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, 
In the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Bahal Shalisha, bringing to Elisha the man of God, 20 barley loaves made from the first fruits and fresh grain in the ear. Elijah said, give it to the people to eat. But his servant objected. How can I set this before a hundred people? Elisha insisted, give it to the people to eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and there shall be some left over. And when they had eaten, there was some left over, as the Lord had said. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace one body and one spirit, as you are also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in your heart and your famous holy gospel of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. 
the Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had, had, that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Just, just a comment on our first day, world day of prayer for the grandparents and the elderly. How many of you are grandparents? Raise your hand. I figured. How many of you are elderly? <laughs> I turned 66 on Friday. I'm elderly. And then in two months, I'll start cashing in on the old Social Security. So, man, I'll, be in, I, I'll probably die the day before just my luck. But uh, years ago, we had some domestic issues, and there was an article involving my mother. And in the, she was about 80 at the time. And in the article, they referred to her as the elderly neighbor. And she, and she, the article wasn't really a nice article, but she was wild. When did I become elderly? <laughs> I said, Mom, you're 80. I mean, you know. <laughs> so don't give in to elderly. No, do not give in. So that was my comment on the World Day for grandparents and elderly. Um, we, the prayer of the faithful will reflect that and we'll do a blessing at the end of Mass. You know, success is sometimes slow in getting it, there. You know, people don't arrive at success immediately. So there's great examples through history. So, for example, did you know that Abraham Lincoln, he suffered a humiliating demotion when he was in the army. He went to war as a captain. He returned from war as a private, the lowest rank. He ticked somebody off, I don't know, but yeah, could you imagine? And then Abraham Lincoln went on, he had a series of failed businesses in life. And then he ran for election and he had a series of repeated failures. But praise God, he never gave up. And he became that wonderful president who gave a magnificent gift to our country. Walt Disney. No one would hire him when he was a young artist. His brother got him a temporary job. He opened a studio. It went bankrupt. But then he co-founded Walt Disney Company. And it's, I think now it's posting over $20 billion in annual profits. Steven Spielberg went to the USC film school and they rejected him twice. Isn't that interesting? It didn't stop him though. And he has since grossed $8.5 billion from films that, that we know he directed. And Charles Schultz of, of Snoopy and Charlie Brown fame, he was thrown out of the high school yearbook. He was rejected, his artwork. And then of course he went on to create Snoopy and Peanuts and Charlie Brown. Revenue from peanuts generated over $1 billion a year. And guess what? The old high school, they, they relented and they, they put a statue of Snoopy in their main office, you know. I think you, they wanted a big cash gift as well, I don't know, probably. 
And then that boy in today's gospel, he only had five barley loaves and a couple of fish. And they were facing the feeding of thousands of people. And what did he do? He gave it to Jesus. And you give it to Jesus and incredible things can happen. And so if you think you know more than God, hold on to your hats because life is really full of interesting surprises. Even for all you elderly out there. Me too. You know, like the nuns taught us, man proposes, but God disposes. I often think how sad it is for people who have no faith. And there's a lot of people like that today um, who view life as maybe controlled by fate or by luck or by their daily horoscope. How sad that must be. Because faith speaks to us in a much different and a much deeper way. You know, when we pray thee, Our Father, thy will be done, if we really mean it when we pray the Our Father, then life is not a series of throws of the dice or random chances or good luck, bad luck. But life is the will of a God who loves each of us personally. God calls us to live a life of faith. God calls us to live a life that really matters. To do things and choose things that really matter. And yet there's so many in this world today. And I think COVID-19 has created a, a whole bunch of more people like this. Who just go through the events of their life wondering, what does it all mean? Where so many people have already decided... It doesn't mean anything. And so today we, we think about this little boy and his loaves and fish. I would encourage you to allow him to inspire you because he reminds us to think about all the little things in life because they matter. They really matter. You're with daddy. He's nicer. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Today at the wedding, it was the funniest thing. There was a big wedding and all the grandchildren, everybody walked in. Husbands, wives. It was, it was like, it was, it was a parade. And at one point, this one beautiful bridesmaid, the mama, she had this beautiful bouquet of roses that all the girls had. But this little girl she was holding with her husband, when it came time to part, what do you think the little girl wanted? She wanted mommy's flowers. So she's, this tug of war started right up here and she's pulling and mom couldn't get it free. It was the funniest thing. I kept thinking like, there's a YouTube moment. Where's my, where's my phone? Ay, ay, ay. It, it, it. And she went blood curdling, screaming out. And uh, well, oh well. But these things happen, we understand. Okay. So all the little things that make up really most of life, most of our days. It's the little things, though, but when we look at the little things as coming from God, as building blocks not only for life, but building blocks for faith in God, life is so better then when we see the hand of God at work in our lives. You know, when we think about, you know, it, the job that you ended up with, with the person in front of you in church today, or that bill, or that illness, all these things, to see these little things sometimes as ways that, that God is speaking to us, reaching out to us. You know, the great movie that, that made you cry. There's a great movie we saw recently, Storm Boy. Storm Boy, it's on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, watch it. Storm Boy. Shake your heads. All right. It'll make you cry. It will. That beautiful sunset that ended your day, or that day when it didn't rain, or the perfect date, or the beautiful hymn, or the invitation to volunteer for your church, 
or an invitation to help somebody in need. These are all the ways that God speaks to us, that God really does challenge our hearts to stretch and, and, and be more loving and helpful to others. These are ways that tell us about his holiness and beauty. All the little things. God wants us to notice them in our lives. Whether it's a couple of loaves and a couple of fish or, or maybe just a couple of minutes every day. Because God can, but God does use the things in our life to draw us closer to him. And yet so often, we ignore them. We just don't pay attention. And so the challenge of this gospel is a reminder for you and me to slow down and to look around your day and your life and, and notice what's there and see where maybe the grace of God is trying to reach out to you, to change you, to stretch you, to put a smile on your face, to bring love into your heart. Maybe it's the face of Christ that you're missing, but it's there. So find the face of Christ in your day. And so the goal is to see the beautiful life that God has given us as a whole series of little gifts from God. Opportunities that can challenge us to be better, to grow in holiness, and then no matter how small or large something is, no matter how good or bad things might be, they all matter. Because over time, all these little things, when we notice them, they become what I would call your path to glory. Your path to glory, your highway to heaven. And when we actively seek to walk that highway to heaven and do God's will every day, they become the only things which ultimately will satisfy our deepest hungers and longings. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With trust in God's generous provision, let us offer our prayers today. For the church, to perform every day the miracle of the multiplication of the bread of life and the word of salvation, and for Pope Francis' ministry as Vicar of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the senior members of our community, may they live in a manner worthy of the call we have received with humility, gentleness, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are grandparents, may they know how to accompany our families with wisdom, and may we learn to pass on the treasure of faith to our grandchildren and to the younger generation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all the elderly who are alone. May no one have to live in isolation. May they feel that the Lord's promise, I am with you always, is addressed to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may we never, may we learn never to leave anyone alone when they are facing illness. And may we care, may care be provided for everyone, especially the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember all the elderly in our community who have died in recent months, especially those who are not remembered by anyone. May they be welcomed into the kingdom of peace and mercy. At this Mass, we remember John Terrafinko, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and for any special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, please hear and answer our prayers according to your holy will. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Oh, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And without shaking hands, please share peace. Peace of Christ. And peace, and peace. And peace of Christ. And John, peace. Here's the key. Jesus, Lamb of God, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. God, our Heavenly Father, you have given your sons and daughters the gift of long life. And today they ask for your blessing. Let them feel the tenderness and strength of your presence. As they look back to the past, let them rejoice in your mercy. As they look to the future, may they persevere in hope that does not fade. To you be praise and glory forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The processional is 578, how great thou art, 578. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made. Go ahead, go down the step. 